The Philippine Marine Corps PMC is set to boost its combat capabilities with the procurement of new squad automatic weapons, SAWs, aiming to address the current shortage of light machine guns and enhance the firepower of its infantry units. This strategic initiative, overseen by the Philippine Navy's Bids and Awards Committee, culminated in a public tender for the supply of 73 new SAWs. The project was awarded to a joint venture between Turkey System Defense and the Philippine firm Topshot Guns International. After an open bidding process that commenced at the end of 2023, System Defense emerged as the only compliant bidder and was officially awarded the contract on April 18, 2024. This partnership will provide the MFR-56 light machine gun, a 5.56mm weapon recognized as one of the lightest in its category, weighing just 4.25 kilograms. The total contract value is PHP 45.38 million, reflecting a savings of PHP 500,500 compared to the project's original budget. The notice to proceed was issued in June 2024, with the expectation that deliveries will be completed by April 2025. This latest contract follows earlier modernization efforts by the PMC, which included the acquisition of 160 units of the MFR-56 in 2021. The initial batch, delivered in mid-2023, replaced aging FN Minimi models, many of which had suffered damage or loss over years of operational use. The MFR-56's field performance has proven satisfactory, prompting the PMC to standardize its SAW inventory around this model, simplifying logistics and training requirements. Historically, the Philippine Marine Corps has utilized a mixed inventory of SAWs, including the Belgian-made FN Minimi. The FN Minimi entered service in limited quantities through a joint acquisition with the Philippine Army in 2003. However, due to operational losses and wear, fewer than 80 units remained operational by 2024. Heavier machine guns like the M60E3 and M60E4 7.62mm models have also been used, but their weight, over 10.5 kilograms, proved cumbersome for automatic riflemen, particularly during mobile operations. In contrast, the MFR-56 lightweight design facilitates greater mobility and ease of handling across various combat scenarios. The modernization initiative aligns with the planned restructuring of marine squad organizations, integrating new equipment and weaponry to bolster operational effectiveness. The MFR-56 is expected to be central to this development, offering versatility with its dual feeding mechanism that supports both magazine and belt-fed operation. Its firing rate of 700 to 850 rounds per minute ensures sustained fire capabilities during both defensive and offensive maneuvers. The specifications of the MFR-56 meet the stringent requirements set by the Philippine Marine Corps, featuring a 20.5-inch quick-change barrel, a foldable bipod, and high-carbon alloy steel construction for enhanced durability. Each saw will be delivered with essential accessories, including two 30-round magazines, two 200-round ammunition boxes, a reflex optic sight, a spare barrel, and a tactical sling, ensuring full operational readiness upon deployment. While other international manufacturers showed interest in the initial stages of the bidding process, only the joint venture between System Defense and Top Shot Guns submitted the necessary documentation, technical specifications, and financial proposals. The PMC's preference for the MFR-56, influenced by its previous success and established service record, likely deterred competing bids for alternative SAW models. The additional procurement of MFR-56 units reflects a pragmatic approach to maintaining combat readiness while effectively managing costs and operational risks. By continuing to standardize squad-level weaponry, the PMC can streamline its supply chain, reduce training burdens on personnel, and simplify maintenance complexities. This new batch of MFR-56 light machine guns is poised to significantly enhance the firepower of Marine squads, better equipping them to meet the dynamic demands of modern military engagements. As the Philippine Marine Corps anticipates the full delivery of these new saws by April 2025, the successful integration of these weapons will represent a significant milestone in the ongoing modernization of the service. This acquisition project underscores the PMC's commitment to providing its Marines with advanced and reliable tools for national defense, ultimately ensuring that they remain prepared to face the challenges of contemporary warfare.